And of course, tributes have been pouring in from all over the world following Pele's passing. In studio now, I have someone who was able to play against the football king. Prof. Augusto Palacios, appreciate your time here on Newsroom Africa. I mean, last night as the, stu the story broke, uh, news came in right down to South Africa. You're one of the people that I got to, to see on Instagram, so sort of pouring uh, their tributes to the great Pele, having played with him. Just how did you receive the news? Very bad. Uh, I was watching TV when I received the news from my family in Peru, mm. who, because sometimes this news is fake, and I will be sure what is happening, and it's happening, and then obviously the memory coming to me, you know, the great player who, who was him, mm. and still, you know, because we can't compare with him anyone. I mean, dating back now, in your playing days, we did mention earlier on that you, you've might have had instances with him on the field of play. Take us back to those moments. I mean, you're playing for the national team. There you see a great player coming in and is on the other side as an opponent. Yeah, in 1973, I had the opportunity to play against him. And obvious, I met him, obvious, and when I was a Mafana Fana coach in the 100th anniversary in Argentina, mm -hmm. I met him in Buenos Aires. Also, I met him in, when I was the team manager of Mafana Fana in the World Cup in 98 in France. And also, also in Confederation in Riyadh, we, mm -hmm. we meet him. And you know, he's the person who, you know, believe really humble is mm -hmm. the way he talks football, the way very humanitarian, helping a lot of people. But the, his background and way he is, mm -hmm. is, is unbelievable. He never lost this passion or, or you can say humble aspect from where he came, because he came from very, very poor family, mm. and um, his father was a soccer player for injury. He was no play anymore, and he was very, very poor person, you know, who was um, selling a newspaper and magazine and clean shoes in the street. And the age of the 13 years is when in Gimaraes, when he born, he started playing mm. football. He in the age of 15 years, he moved to Santo Football Club when he finished his football in 1974. When 1975, he went to Cosmos in New York. And after five years, he retired to play in the age of 37 years. But the way he started, mm. I don't think any players he can compare the way he started uh, to Eli mm. and to have too many trophies, you know, uh, five Copa Libertadores, two Intercontinental Cup, you know, three World Cup, to score official almost 752 goals and mm -hmm. friendly game 752. It's, it's, it, his record is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, he can come in somebody like him. Not only about the soccer player, why he win in life. You know, three World Cup, you understand, and then top goal scorer, 1,000 goals and 1,000 goals. It's, it's something to copy mm -hmm. and it's something who you can take too many things from him. He was my hero. I, I can't copy him, but I can enjoy when he was watching him, and it's, 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 unbelievable. it's unbelievable. And that's one of the things that I wanted to touch on. I mean, when you look at his statistics, 1958, hmm. uh, three World Cups, t t with three World Cup titles, but having employed in four, in four World Cups, it must have, there must have been something special about this player. And if you had to pick up one of the things that was really special about, player, any, about Pele in his playing times, what would it be? And you may remember, in this time, he was no sport science. Mm. He was not the method of training now. He was no modern football. And you know, uh, uh, his height was 1.73. Mm. But the way he jumped over the ball, looking at the goal he scored in 1970 against Italy, mm. the heading goal, it was unbelievable. The, the body aspect, the strong with the ball to protect the ball and the dribbling, is, is unbelievable. And remember also, uh, he made too many good players. Mm. You know, uh, when you talk about Garrincha, one of the best wings in, in Brazil, when you talk about uh, Carlos Alberto, when you talk about Tostao, Rivelino, Gerson, it's, it's unbelievable player who play for him. Uh, he, he has only one bad luck in the World Cup in Chile, when he uh, played only one game and he scored one goal because of the injury. But 1970, you know, when, when, when the majority he, he arrived, it makes it no, it's, 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 it's unbelievable, unbelievable. And he only played for one club, who was Santo Football Club, and after over four years in Cosmo. But 
Sometimes we try to compare play, you know, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, but different type of football. But Pelé was the player who, from the half of the field to attacking, he was unstopping. Uh, people try to stop him with wrong tackler. He was no red card in this time, but he managed to, to do all the challenge. And, and, and I can tell you during my, my life, who I have 71, I never see the player like him, never. And just in closing, Mr. Palacios, I mean, tributes continue to pour in from across the world. Um, how, how, do we, how should the football world and the world globally remember Pele? I'm sure he's, his legacy is one that is going to continue to live on. Already now, whenever there's a player that is rising up, he is compared to either Maradona or a player. I think the legacy for him is, is two. He played for Santo Football Club, mm. one club in Brazil, and he played for his country. Mm. I think this legacy, it must be for any soccer player. And the discipline, and the commitment of football, I don't think you can have this, this example and role model for him. He can copy to many players. Remember, when you are a soccer player, you need to be part of your family. Remember, you need to dedicate, you need to commit, and you need to look at the home, football, football home. The rest, I think, is, is very important to stop because your family is so important and your football is very important. This is a South African player had the talent, but he needs to understand to be a professional player, he needs to be 100% what Pelé commitment outside and inside the field. And to represent his club and to play his national team. You, you never see Pelé who say he has for bonus or has for money who play for the national team. He was a national person who represents his country. This is the reason too many people love him, because he humble aspect in sport. And he's in Brazil now, he lost one of the icons who never compare, never. And this is uh, very sad, but very uh, happy to see him in, in personal, in the TV, in one of my heroes when I was born, 1951, and seven years old. I will follow him, his career, until now. Prof, I really appreciate your time. I know being you, when we talk about Pele, we can talk football all the day, but I appreciate your time here on Newsroom Africa. And that's where we ended with this interview with Professor Palacios, who is a former technical director of uh, Orlando Pirates, and is, of course, reflecting just on the life and legacy of the great Pele who passed on last night at the age of 82. Now